I don't know who needs to hear this, but there's a huge difference between slow motion and slow shutter. And it seems a lot of people can't wrap their heads around it, especially in video. Lately, I've been leaning into including the interference of a scene. I'm no longer fighting the chaos. Clean shots are out. This isn't an editing effect. At its core, it's just a derivative style of long exposure. Once you understand what slow shutter looks like, it'll change how you capture motion. Shutter speed controls how motion appears in a frame. Fast shutter freezes action, and slow shutter blurs it. For video specifically, slow motion happens in post after recording at a high FPS like 60 or 120, and then reducing the speed with a lower frame rate. This is doable because more individual images are captured per second than standard video. Now, slow shutter happens in camera, by keeping the shutter open longer while things are moving. For photos, set your shutter speed to 1 20th of a second or lower. Use a tripod or trust your in-body stabilization if you're shooting handheld. To capture natural looking motion blur in video, you typically apply the 180 degree rule, but slow shutter is not supposed to look natural. So lower your shutter speed to 1 4th of a second. You'll get that smeary look when subjects move. So next time your scene feels too busy or too messy, slow your shutter. You'll see movement differently.